Hey guys, I'm back and this is my summer glam. We're gonna start by spritzing the face with the Mario Badesco facial spray. I love this and it's so refreshing. Then we're gonna prime with the Becca Cosmetics Backlight Primer and it gives the skin such a nice glow and I really love this for the face. To cancel out any red list, I'm using the MAC Natural Radiance Yellow Primer and this just makes my skin neutralized and a little bit less red. And now we're going to jump into our eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blonde Pomade. I've gone back to this and this is like one of my holy grails. I love this so much. And I'm just using an angle brush from H&M and I'm starting with lining the bottom line, the bottom eyebrow line and then also the top and then I'm filling it in. I'm also gonna highlight under the brow using the highbrow pencil from Benefit and I just do this to make sure that it looks nice and sharp under there especially if you haven't plucked your eyebrows or done them in a while this just makes it look a lot more sharper now for foundation I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do so I'm gonna use two foundations first the makeup forever HD foundation stick which oh my god this is so amazing absolutely my favorite foundation at the moment and then after that I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the Giorgio Armani on the outer parts because it's just a little bit darker and I'm gonna blend these two together and it's just such a nice combination for my skin now I'm gonna take the Becca under eye corrector. I don't know if this really does anything for me, but I just like to put this before I highlight with a concealer just to cancel out my dark circles. And I'm gonna conceal using my NYX uh, Cosmetics HD Concealer. I This is another thing I'm really not sure if I like, so I've been just trying it out and using it. So far, I think it's okay. It's not my favorite concealer, but it's a good choice from the drugstore. And I'm gonna set using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, the good old Laura. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this under my eyes and just wherever I highlight it with a damp beauty blender just to make sure it doesn't look too cakey. And I'm just gonna leave that to bake as per usual, as everyone does. This is a product I go back to every summer. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan, the Chanel bronzer, and I like to use this under my other bronzer just as a base. It's beautiful, perfect, and really expensive, so think about it before you buy it. I am priming my eye with the Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion. I just haven't found another eye primer that I like, and I haven't tried any other eye primers, so this is what I use at the moment and always. And I'm just going to set that with my white chocolate shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. And I actually decided to go back to my good old naked eyeshadow palette because I wanted some nice natural eyeshadows for this look. So I started by using Naked, which is like the lightest brown for my transition shade. And just put that all over the crease. And then I just went in with the buck, which is just a little bit darker eyeshadow, just to darken up the crease in, like just above the naked eyeshadow. Oh my god, I can't even speak today. But I put that in the crease as well, just to darken it up a tad. Now I just went in with Sin, no, what is that? A sidecar and toasted. And this is just to put a little bit of shimmer and shine in the outer corner and just deepen up my eyes a little bit. Not too much because we're not making a dark look today. It's summer, guys. It's light and it's easy.
then for my eyelid shade, I'm taking Sin and Virgin and I'm mixing these together to make the perfect shimmery highlighted shade to brighten up my eyes a little bit. I mean, this palette is a classic. It's not the best eyeshadows, not the best pigment, but it has everything you basically need for an easy eyeshadow look. And this is one of those easy eyeshadow looks. So bring it out, use it again, and just learn to love it again. Here I'm going in with Sidecar again just to blend out everything and just to put it under my eyes to make sure I get some definition under there as well. Now to create my cat liner, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Eyeliner. This has become my replacement for the NYC Liquid Eyeliner which has been discontinued everywhere. I don't understand why, it must have been their most and best selling product. So I do not can't comprehend why that is gone but here we go this is a great dupe for that or a great um, alternative for that liner it has the same type of brush and it works really easy so I'm just creating a nice cat line like per usual nothing too exciting and I think we have baked long enough so we're gonna take our little um, setting brush and we're just gonna remove all that excess powder and make sure that that's all blended in nicely. Now for eyelashes I'm using these Dodo eyelashes they're super affordable super cheap mink lashes and these ones were sent to me and you can use the code Juliesta just to get some bucks off when you buy them they are really nice and super fluttery for bronzer I'm taking my give me sun bronzer by Mac I love this I use this every day I don't contour my face anymore I just take a big brush like this and simply bronze up and warm up my face a little bit now I'm going to take the Man Manizer sister from the balm and I'm just going to take the pink uh, Cindy Luminizer I believe this is, I'm not sure, uh, just to blush up my face a little bit and add some shimmer and shine with the same brush that I used for the bronzing. And then I'm also going to take Mary Luminizer, good old Mary who has always been a favorite of mine for highlight and we're just going to highlight the tops of our cheeks and just wherever we love to highlight basically. And if that wasn't enough, I'm also taking my champagne pop highlighter from Becca and I'm just going to add some extra highlight because we want to glow. It's a summer glam. We want to look glowy and just beaming from the sky. So I'm just adding that and the brush I'm using is actually a setting brush from Real Techniques. Now I'm going to curl my lashes so that they blend together. What I like about these la lashes is when I curl them, they don't stick right up like some of these plasticky lashes do. So they're definitely curlable and I really love the Dodo lashes. I recommend them highly and they're super affordable, which is insane. After that, we're going to be moving on to mascara and I'm just going to blend the lashes more with the mascara and I'm not going to apply anything on my bottom lash line because I just want my eyes to be like bright and open so I'm avoiding the bottom lash line. Now for lips, I'm going to start out with Dose of Colors Classic Stone Liquid, Liquid, Liquid Lipstick. It's one of my faves. Um, I do find that this is a little bit too dark for me sometimes, so I'm going to go back in the middle when I'm done with another Dose of Color lipstick called Bear With Me, just to lighten and brighten the whole lip up a little bit, because we want it to be really nice and bright. So here's Bear With Me, and I'm going to apply that right on top, and after that, you are done. <laughs> 